I often get this feeling of play when I'm walking outside, when you can feel different things through the soles of your shoes and you're just wandering around looking for new things to see, seeing what you notice along the way um, and you get into this rhythm with your body and where you are and yeah I really love that about walking and it's a really big source of inspiration for my work. I think this act of noticing in itself is a form of play. I like to challenge myself to a game of I Spy when I'm out walking on my own, just to see what new things I can see along the way. This autumn I've been working on creating these lampshades and this series of paintings to really use play as the focus and the driver for this body of work and to see where it takes me. My name is Arlo Stevens and I'm a multidisciplinary artist. I love working across painting and screen printing and visual design. And at the root of everything that I do, I'm looking to connect people to nature and the outdoors, whether that's working with clients or on my own personal practice or working with communities. I think I'm multidisciplinary because I love telling stories and there are so many different ways to do that and I just love learning continually and I think I'm always looking for the right medium to tell the right narrative and beyond all of that I think the more I learn the more I see that so many things are connected and that learning to animate has similarities in filmmaking, in painting, in screen printing and I'm really interested in what those similarities are and how I can continue to learn from each and every one of them. I've been thinking a lot about the importance of play in my life and also in my work and how I can use play as a focus to bring all of the different elements to my work together to unify it in a way. Analogue painting is really at the root of everything that I do whether it's designing a logo or creating some textile screen prints, it'll often start in painting and then it might iterate through into a different um, format. It might go from a painting into a digital sketch in Photoshop or it might translate itself into a screen print which then might be iterated back through into painting again. So I really love bouncing between different mediums and through this kind of distillation process and just learning through through my hands and through making things. So for me, when I'm making something, it's almost like the application is telling me where to go next. When I make a mark on a painting, it's reacting to that and then how could I turn that into a screen print? What does that look like? And then if that goes into an animation, what does that look like again? So I'm always chasing the kind of what if in my work. My work is inspired by places and feelings, memories, a conversation with a friend. It's all about translating the way that something made you feel um, into a visual format. Sound shows up in my head as colours and shapes, 
So I'm really interested in pulling these out to explore my personal experience of things. And words also play a big role in my process of making, which I always think is funny because I've always found words and talking to people um, less fluent than it was to make a picture. So, but I use them nonetheless a lot in my work to inform the start. Um, a title might drive a composition and a phrase from, from a chat with a friend might lead the mood of a piece or I might be reflecting on a place and writing down words and all my memories which get embedded into whatever it is that I'm making. So these lampshades and the series of paintings I'm working on are all part of an ongoing body of work exploring how to see new things in nature and your surroundings and really challenging yourself to see nature wherever you are, no matter what environment you're in. So it's a kind of ongoing quest to explore my perspective and I hope to encourage other people to do the same. And I have no idea what they're going to turn into these series of works on paper that I'm making. Maybe a mural, maybe a massive painting, maybe some more textile prints, I'm really not sure yet. But that's, it's quite nice to have something that's open-ended and that's the kind of beauty of a personal project. The lampshades themselves are inspired by this process of play using simple hand-cut stencil forms and a limited number of colours onto linen. These designs started out as sketches on my iPad, which were themselves informed by paintings I had made previously in the year. Now I'm working on some paintings in response to the lampshades, and so you get this endless kind of cycle of opportunities and possibilities. And I think it's knowing when to stop, which is the hard part, really. Because you could just carry on creating forever.